Hello, my little chickadees. How are you? Welcome to uh, work again. I uh, thought I'd do a quick few seconds while I'm on luncheon. Uh, no trips out this lunch. Um, I have got a collection to make from Screwfix, uh, but it's not urgent. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Who knows? Who cares, frankly? Um, how are you all? Um, I will see the youth um, later on uh, this afternoon or early evening and um, the adults I will see the morrow <coughs> weather's looking okay tomorrow this afternoon a little bit of rain and wind but then it clears up hopefully so um, we should have a session tonight and then tomorrow I believe the weather is okay so we should be all good to go for tomorrow evening anywho I thought I'd say hello um, and I will check in later. Hello, my little fondant fancies. How are you? So, home from the um, Ability Counts Youth Session tonight. And uh, it was a really good session, actually. It was, it was raining. It was raining, but I gave them the option. They all decided they wanted to train in the rain, so well done to them. Uh, great session, well done, guys. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. So, thanks, mums and dads, as well, for bringing them along. It was good. <coughs> what else have I done since I spoke to you at lunchtime? Apart from work, not a great deal. Um, oh, just going back on the so, somebody actually just messaged me and said. Uh, will training still be on tomorrow because the field's wet? Yes, it will. Believe me, I've just played tonight. It's absolutely fine. Uh, we only wouldn't play on the field if it was waterlogged. It's not. Honestly, it's just surface water. It'll be dry within a couple of hours, especially now it's stopped raining and we've got blue skies, nothing but blue skies. Um, so, yes, uh, so tomorrow's definitely on, uh, unless the weather takes a turn for the worst. I look forward to a jolly good session tomorrow. Um, what else? Uh, a couple of text messages today. Hi to everyone. Uh, just had a chat with Zig. Hi, Zig. Zig's on holiday with his mum. Uh, great to speak to you, Zig. Have a great week off. Keep in touch. Let me know what you're doing. Um, and to anybody else out there and anybody else who knows me, hello. Um, what else? I think that's probably about it um, for now. Um, got, uh, Obviously work tomorrow and then uh, straight to training with uh, the incredible band of reprobates tomorrow evening. Um, in the meantime, I will leave you with the superb, superb Jigs de Jours. First one comes from Tracy. Now, Tracy said unto me, you forgot about the third camel. There is another camel who has three humps. Three humps. So you remember last night we were discussing dromedaries and Bachtran camels. One has two, one has one hump. And um, she said to me, what do you call a camel with three humps? Uh, and the answer is hump free. <laughs> three <laughs> humps. I see what you did there. Well done, Tracy. Uh, that's not bad. I'm not even sure I can beat that one today, to be honest, but I'll have a go. Uh, so uh, a guy goes to um, his doctor's and he said, Doctor, I'm really worried about myself because I keep being able to see into the future. And uh, the GP said, well, how long have you felt like this? And the chap said, uh, since next Monday. <laughs> next Monday, you <laughs> see. Because he could see into the future, like Michael J. Fox. Um, what else? Okay, so one of my neighbours has got uh, two dogs. Uh, he calls one of them Timex and one of them Rolex. They're not very dog names, but Timex and Rolex. It's because there is watchdogs. <laughs> it's watchdogs. <laughs> Anywho, speak to you later. Uh, have a good day tomorrow, and I'll see most of you tomorrow evening. Be safe.